Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. It's happened. We talked about it. I said it would happen, and here we are. Donald Trump is unable to come up with the money to pay the uh, the bond that was necessary for him to appeal the ruling by this junk court in New York. And so they're going to be taking his stuff. Apparently, it's very difficult to come up with $450 million in cash. So, yeah, that this is, this is pure and simple. It's communism. This is a kind of communism. It's a land grab. They're taking his stuff, and they can do it to pretty much anybody that has property in New York. Whoa! Trying to be a little bit quicker on the draw there. Thanks for sticking with us. So we made a video about this before. I uh, believe it or not. I'm sure a lot of you watching this are not uh, the ones heckling me about my thoughts on the matter. But I did take a lot of a lot of flack for saying that you know this is going to be applied to pretty much anybody, and they are going to take his stuff. I'm like, oh, it's never going to happen. They're not going to take his. Give me a break, you know. No, they are. <laughs> they are. They said they would, and uh, they're going to do it now because he is unable to come up with the cash. And uh, well, a lot of people have said that they're going to do this in a very unfair way, where they just you know like, oh, it's worth what we think it's worth. So we're just going to take more of your properties. Yeah, they're they're going after Donald Trump. Sure, in this particular case, this is aimed at Trump. They're going to they're going to make him pay. They're going to ruin him. And uh oh man, the uh, the political persecution that is going on in this country drives me insane. But also the fact that this this now sets precedent. Now there is a legal mechanism by which they can take your stuff. As, uh, well, in New York right now. Hopefully no other courts adopt this uh, way of doing things. I mean, it's pretty bizarre. So who is the victim here? Who is the one that's actually going to get paid by all this? You know, because the bank wasn't, you know, defrauded. They came out and said they weren't. They uh, they made money on the deal that they were supposedly the fraud was committed against them on, which is strange. The, uh, the loans were paid back. So... Who's taking the property? Well, the state. The city and the state are taking the property. And I guess now if uh, they decide they want to take somebody's stuff, somebody's buildings or investments in New York, all they have to do is come up with this corrupt method of saying, oh, you are guilty of fraud because you got a loan the same way that everybody else gets a loan. And uh, so now we're just going to come up with this ridiculous fine of unpayable amounts. And if you don't pay it or put bond on it, you can't even appeal it. And so we're definitely going to take your stuff. And then it's, a, <laughs> I don't know what they do with it at that point. I mean, what is the city of New York going to do with Donald Trump's properties? Uh, probably fill them with illegal immigrants, I guess, to try and increase their uh, the number of people they have there so they can have better representation in Congress. Basically, uh, you're having the life squeezed out of you. They're, they're going to fill those places up with people so that they can have more congressional seats and you're never going to have a voice again there you're going to be ruled over by new york and california and uh, you'll yeah like i said you'll never have representation again you may kind of have representation but it won't matter because they will have more representation and uh, <laughs> for people that aren't even citizens this is insane this is insane it's communism clear uh, clear and simple i mean I don't know what people think communism is. It's basically a bunch of thugs taking your stuff. They, they, they'll they pretend, sure. They'll pretend at first like they care about the little guy. Oh, we're just taking the land from these, you know, crummy landlords so that we can uh, give it to the poor, except they, they don't give it to the poor. Instead, they take it from the landlords, send them off to uh, a gulag somewhere, and they take the poor and tell them, now you're slaves for us. And then they sell the produce that the poor people have made in the fields or the factories or whatever it happens to be to, on the international market. And the people at the top in control of the Communist Party and the government, they get rich and they just use those poor people as their slave labor. And it's, wow, it's the very worst things of <laughs> capitalism. The stuff that people say they want to get rid of, that's exactly what uh, what communism becomes. In fact, it's the fast track 
to that. I, I don't know what to say. Now, people will argue, but come on, look at every single instance where it's been applied, and you'll see that that's the case. That's what happens every time. Ah, so, yeah, they're, they're taking his stuff. It's, it's an outrage. It's such an injustice. And, you know, I, I've heard that real estate developers and things are leaving New York. Well, no wonder. No surprise. I mean, if it's not the high crime, then it's the fact that the government, the city and the state might just come in and take your stuff away if you disagree with them. And now they can, and nobody's going to do anything about it. Ah, uh, isn't that a constitutional right? I mean, he didn't even get a trial by jury. He didn't have any of that. They just decided, oh, you're guilty. <laughs> I mean, can you? is that how a court is supposed to work? You get accused of a crime and they just decide on their own? Like, well, you're guilty. Uh, never mind, uh, you know, the jury of your peers and all of that stuff. You're just guilty. And now all there is to decide is how much we are going to take from you. Uh, just, just crazy. Anyway, I have just spoken with someone about an SLR, which is a, a type of camera, and they have for sale an old one that I really, really want to get. So I am going to go do that. Um, it should be, you know, a film camera. I haven't messed with a film camera for so long. I, uh, yeah, th this ought to be interesting. They say it works. It has some lenses. I'm, I'm going to have some fun with that and see what kind of photos I can take. What do you do with, gosh, what, what do you do with the film these days? I don't know that Walmart has a film processing place. I know there used to be like the one hour photo place, you know, you take it in and an hour later you have your film and negatives. Um, I don't think they have that now, do they? If they do, certainly not around here. Who knows? Maybe I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm going to have fun with it and anyway, so... I'm off to do that. Uh, you guys will have to tell me what you think. I mean, is this an outrage? Is this communism? Is I, am I right? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a form of communism in our greatest city. And it's a terrible shame. And it's going to destroy the country because, you know, those are where a lot of our economic activity is at. I get, well, who knows? Maybe Texas will become greater as a result of this. That's what I'm hoping. It just makes Texas better. Because <laughs> Texas, I'm telling you, Texas is the next big thing. If you're looking for a place to go start a business or something, you know, consider going to Texas. Dallas, Houston, one of those places, fantastic. It's growing and growing, and it'll only get bigger. So yeah, take, take a look at that. Joe Rogan thought it was good. He's in Austin. Yeah, Texas. I'll see you guys in the next one. ไฟพระวงศ์หลวงฟ้าวสาวเจ้าบางกงหาหวยงงหลวงเก้อเออหาโอเวนคำจำพระคาใกล้ๆตา